after months of waiting, you finally get your Blackmagic Pixis and you start to rig it out. You put a top plate on, you put a top handle, a side plate, a side handle maybe, you find your battery solution, your memory solution, and you want to put a monitor on it. And here's where things start to get a little bit tricky. Not tricky, but if you come from like a hybrid camera, you might only have monitors that have HDMI in. And the Pixis doesn't have an HDMI port, it only has an SDI out. And if you're not careful, you can actually hurt and make your SDI port useless. It's super easy to avoid, but a lot of people doesn't know about this. I've seen a few videos from creators here on YouTube that actually happen to fry the Pixis SDI out. And yeah, it, it's easy, it can happen. Uh, I'm not saying it's gonna happen if you do it wrong, but there's a big chance it might. So in this video, I'm gonna learn you how to avoid frying your SDI. So what's the difference between SDI and HDMI? Well, there's one main difference and I'm getting to that, but SDI stands for Serial Digital Interface and it's used by professionals to monitor a video on set or to send a high quality video signal through a cable. And it's a bit more durable than HDMI, especially because you actually lock in the SDI to the camera so it won't go out if you yank it just a little bit. So it's more durable and it's better to use on shoes where you actually move around a lot. If SDI is so great, how come I can burn my SDI port rendered useless? That doesn't sound very good. Well, here's when things get a little bit tricky with SDI. See, it's very sensitive to something called power surges. And this can come from you connecting everything in the wrong order, creating a power loop in between the camera, accessories and everything. And that in turn can fry your SDI out. I'm not saying that it's going to do it every time, or I'm not saying you ever will experience it, but there is a risk. And if I had the tools and if I had the know-how not to do it, of course, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't risk it. So to avoid this, it's actually super simple. It's just two steps that you kind of need to have in mind. And the first step is when you're going to start it up, put the power in to the accessories, to the camera and everything. And then you start the camera and then you start the accessories before you connect the SDI cable. And then if you need to swap a battery, if you need to turn something off, then you take it in the opposite order. You take SDI cable out, then you turn it off, switch the batteries. And then when you want to plug everything in, then you put the batteries in, in the accessories and in the camera, you turn it on, then you attach the cable. It's super simple. It's literally just two steps. It's last in, first out. Very easy to remember. Last in, first out. Just have that in the back of your mind when you work with SDI. There's a few things you can do to avoid this. One of them is to use shielded SDI cables and always use BNC cables for SDI, high quality cables. So you don't have bad cables or old cables. So if cables start to get old, just you know switch them out. And speaking of cables and rigging, all of us actually love, well, I'm not saying all, but a lot of us filmmakers love to rig things with um, DTAP, you know, V-mounts. DTAP cables are not shielded, so it's extremely important that if you run things on, um, on DTAP, be extra careful when using these steps. Okay, yeah, so this is what it takes to keep your SDI safe. It's not hard, it's not time consuming, it's actually nothing, it's just a small habit that can save you lots and lots of headache in the future. So to summarize it all, super easy for you. When you're gonna start the camera and use your monitor or whatever you're gonna use the SDI cable for, Put the power to the accessories, the power to the camera, put them on. Then you put the SDI cable in and when you need to turn it off, take the SDI cable out first and then you turn it off. Super simple. It can save you an expensive and annoying repair bill for the future. Well, that's it for today. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And did you ever find an SDI port? I hope you didn't. Bye.